How's it going, YouTube? Jimmy here. So when we last left off on the Honda Civic, we completed something. I know, I know we did the mirrors, but I think we also did the bumper. can't really remember. Uh, I've slept since then. So anyways, we're just going to continue on. Uh, I think in this video tutorial series, I'm actually going to go ahead and start making like all the miscellaneous things. So uh, yeah, let's just jump right on and start with the uh, door handles. Before I start doing that, yeah, that mirror looks fine. One thing I do want to say is, uh, right here on the mirror, obviously it doesn't quite have this shape, so you can always just, um, actually before I do that, let me go ahead and grab both mirrors, and let me just combine them, combine the two, this way I can go in a vertex. So as what I was going to say is, if you don't like how it's like real flat on the bottom, you can always just grab these inner groups right here, and then just start moving them out like that. Uh, I'm going to hold down shift and reselect those so this way it's nice and smooth. But uh, by doing that is what you'll end up getting. You'll end up getting this uh, slightly rounder shape like that. So it's a simple fix if you don't like the way it looks before. And you can pull those out as much as you want or you can change it up. You know, it's whatever suits whatever you're working on. So uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to make these door handles. Now, as always, I always have the uh, images pulled up so I can get a clear idea on what they look like. That's probably going to be the best one we're going to find. So, okay, the door handle, it's actually two separate pieces. So it's kind of like what you would expect on, like, a uh, Chrysler or whatever. So that's what we're going to do is uh, normally we do a plane, but because this is an object that is of high stature, we're just going to do a cube. And I'm in the wrong view. There we go. Uh, this is going to be very simple. So I'm just going to scale it down to about right here. I'm going to go into Vertex. I'm actually going to scale these down right about here. Then I'm going to go to Face. And then I'm going to make sure that it's just this face that is selected. I'm actually going to uh, pull this out to about here. In this view, I'm going to pull this out something kind of like that. We're going to go about center. It doesn't have to be exact. It just has to be kind of close. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know. I'm going to go right about here. I'm not going to pull this out anymore uh, because this is kind of flat. I probably shouldn't have pulled this one out, but, you know, it's whatever. I'm going to extrude again. I'm going to come right about here, and then this is where I'm going to start pulling it back in. So I'm going to actually go to the top view for this one. Move it right about here. And then I'm going to move this right here. Let me pull that forward just a little bit more. There we go. And then we're going to uh, go back into the side view. We're going to extrude this again and one more time. And then right here, we're actually going to scale it down. So when you hit three, this should be the shape that you have. Uh, let me go ahead and just frame in on this object. So looks kind of like a worm. That's kind of cool. You know, it's whatever. Uh, let's go into the uh, edge loop tool. We're going to create an edge loop right here. So this way it's nice and flat. And then we're just going to move it up to the door. Yeah, probably something. Probably about, about there, I'm thinking. All right, so right here's what we need to do is we need to select face. And we need to go ahead and, and uh, separate these faces. And we'll go into vertex. And then we're just going to pull these back. We'll go into edge. We'll select this whole edge. We'll click on fill hole. And we'll do the same thing right here. So now these holes have been filled. And that will give us an advantage because when we uh, smooth these out, you know, it'll have um, a nice smooth shape. Next thing we need to do is we need to add an edge loop for this one. And we'll do the same thing. No! We'll do the same. Th yeah. We'll do the same thing here. There we go. So now that's where it should be. If you don't. Like me personally, I don't quite like the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into the side view. I'm just going to grab these vertices. I'm just going to pull them forward about like that. So this way we still have the uh, the edge in it like you'd expect to see. But it's smoother. So the next thing we need to do is... Actually, no, those are pretty well lined up. I think I'm happy with that. One thing I do want to say, though, is if you don't like the way that these line up, you can always just pull them up like that. And then you'll have this nice soft shape. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the top view. I'm actually going to pull all of these forward like this. And so we should have this nice door handle shape now. Kind of like that. So 
Uh, that's basically how you create the door handle. Nothing too complicated about it. I think it's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and save it just in case. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I am happy. Now the next thing we need to do is, uh, I don't know why I keep doing it. I keep going the wrong view. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create the, I guess you'd call that a circle in the background, a sphere, I don't know. But to do that, all I'm going to do is just select this whole plane. I'm going to click on Extrude. I'm going to move it right about here. I'm going to scale it down. Uh, probably something like this. Let me move it down just a little bit. I'm going to scale this in. And so now that we have done that, as what we want to do is we actually want to move this in just a little bit. And then we're going to click on the Extrude button. We're going to pull this in and scale it down. So now when we hit 3, we'll have this shape. Kind of like that. Now, granted, it's not um, exactly where we want it, but it is close. So to finish it off, we're just going to start manipulating these edges in here and just trying to make them match up. So something kind of like that. Now we have that. Easy. And then uh, one thing I don't like is I don't like how whenever we uh, smooth it out, it like deforms all of this. So in order to get rid of that, probably should have done this before, but you know what? Life problems. Uh, to basically get rid of this problem, uh, if you want to do this for a game, you're going to have to start up here on one of these edges and just kind of like work your way over here. Yeah, I'm just going to act like we are going to do this for a video game, so... Uh, this way, if you're trying to do it, you won't have to worry about having an object with more than five sides. So I'm just going to cut that edge off right there. That even... No, it did not. Oh, that's why it didn't, because, of course. So we'll just, we'll just continue following this around. No biggie. So get that one right about here. We'll manipulate this one right about here, and then we'll cover that off right there. <coughs> so this way you shouldn't have to worry about any objects with more than five sides. Shouldn't. Because we have, uh, let's go into edge, we have one, two, three, and four. So we should be good right there. And as you can see now when we uh, look at it whenever it's smooth, let's go into object mode, it actually has the look that we'd expect to see. Now obviously the last thing we need to do is we need to um, we need to go in here to vertex mode, and we need to go ahead and pull this forward because that just does not look right. And we'll just do it like this, then we'll press 3, and that should be better. Yeah, that's a lot better. So that's all you have to do right there. Easy. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is actually we're going to need to do this to the back as well, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete these two doors because, you know, we don't need them. Uh, we're going to do the same thing to the back part. Let's go ahead and hit uh, Control D. We're just going to pull these back. I'm essentially just using the exact same, exact same thing from before. All right, there we go. So right here, you can see at this edge uh, cuts into there. So all we're going to do is we're going to move this edge back to right about here. I'm going to frame in on it. Uh, all I'm doing right now is just checking to make sure that nothing was moved out of whack and everything still looks pretty good. So now we can go into face. And we'll just hit extrude. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did last time. We're just going to scale this down and we'll scale this down. You know, something kind of like that. And then uh, let's go and just press the G key and we'll just do a little bit of scaling and we'll press the G key one more time and then we'll actually like pull it in and scale it down. That's probably too much, right about there. So this way whenever we smooth it down we don't have to worry about doing all the extra edge loops. Now uh, let me go ahead and just show you this. Now you can see like some of this blackness right here. Uh, you're probably going to have the exact same thing. The reason for that is uh, some of these edges are actually overlapping. So sometimes you do run into that. No biggie. Uh, all I'm going to do is just take these two vertices. I'm just going to pull these down a little bit. Probably pull them out just a hair. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Just a little bit. Not too much. Right, let's see what that gives us. So, it's going to be a pain in the ass all the way around. Nope. 
it's going to be this one. We'll pull this one back, pull it down, right about there. Let's go ahead and move it over. Let's get rid of all that extra crap right there. Okay, there we go. So now, still a little sharp right here. Let's go into this mode. I'm actually going to take this edge. I'm going to pull this edge down. I'm actually going to pull it out, too. Nope, that was too much. Right about there. So now when we go in here... Ah, here's the other problem. This is overlapping, so we actually need to... Oops, wrong one. We actually need to pull it down. And that should help smooth it all out. It helped a little bit. I still don't like how it looks, so let's go back into this image and see what all's going on. I actually need to go into X-Ray. So, okay. Yeah, sometimes you will run into this problem. Uh, you just kind of got to work with everything, try to make everything match up, which can really be a pain in the ass sometimes. Yeah, it's like we have all these overlapping vertices and everything. And so, basically all we're trying to do is we're just trying to fix them, make them all match up. That's really all there is to it. So that's all I'm doing right now is just trying to make all these match up. And you'll see what I'm doing here in just a second, I promise. Try to, you know, try to follow me if you can. Uh, if not, it's understandable. I am going a little fast. Mainly because I don't want this video to last more than an hour. Alright, so all I'm doing is just making a square inside this circle. And then this outer square is going to be outside the circle. Next thing I need to do is I actually need to come in here and I need to make sure everything still lines up, and which it does not. Uh, see, so like right here we have this that's protruding out a little bit. So we need to move that in. I uh, probably need to move this one in too, where it's more even about like that. And then let's take a look. Okay, so let's go and see what it looks like whenever it's smooth. Probably still going to have that little bit of overlapping. Yep, and we do. But other than that, it's looking better. It is definitely looking better, but still not quite where we want it. I'm thinking part of the overlapping is because of this right here, this ver this uh, vertice. So in theory, if we pull it forward, pull it forward a little bit more, grab this one, do the same thing. In theory, this should fix it. Oh yeah, there we go. It's still there a little bit. You can kind of see it right there, but uh, for the most part, it's it's looking a lot better. So uh, let's go ahead and make these two the same size now. To do that, we're just going to I'll just do it like this. I'm going to grab all three of these, and we're just going to go into scale. We're going to scale it out. I don't know if this is going to work too well, but let's see what we get. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay. Basically, what's going on is this edge up here is uh, preventing us from doing that. But we can still scale it out like this, and we'll just scale it up a little bit. Take this one. We'll just move this one up some. So that way it gives us a little bit more room. Something like this, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. No. So, it looks like we're beat. Uh, I could go in here and, like, I could go in here and, oops, wrong one. It's this edge right here that's causing us all the problems. Uh, as what I could do is actually manipulate this edge where it comes up here. But that would be a lot of cutting, a lot of uh, manipulation, I guess you would say. Uh, the other option that we have, this would be the easier option. And this would save you a lot of time and a lot of heartache. So we're going to go with the easier option. We're actually going to pull this down to right about here. Or actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and get it to the approximate size, which is about here. And then we'll manipulate it to right about here. I'm going to pull it up some. Now right here on this one, we need to make this a little bit smaller. Then we'll click on both of these, and we'll move them like so. So when we press that, now we have the shape that more matches the front. And we don't have to do all this extra cutting, all this extra manipulation, and this extra crap that nobody wants to do, because that's just way too much work. 
Uh, last thing we're going to do is we're going to, or I say the last thing. Uh, I'm sure you all know what that means. Bullshit. So we're just going to pull these edges out, and we're going to try and match them up with the rest of the door. Something kind of like that, I'm thinking. I need to pull this one out. I actually need to pull both these out a little bit more. So we're going to do it right about there. And I'm going to pull this one out right about here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And that looks a lot better. We still have a little bit of uh, the edge, but, you know, I'm happy with it. So let's go ahead and select all of this. I'm going to press 1. I'm going to go to Control G, Control Shift D. And now we have that duplicated across. My earphones are slipping off. I hate it when they do that. There we go. That's better. Okay, so let's go ahead and save it. And, uh, let's see, I'm, let's go ahead and do the wheels real quick. Because, you know, why not? And then we'll start working with the inner fenders, and we'll also start doing some of these gaps and getting rid of those gaps. And when I say getting rid of the gaps, I don't mean by, like, simply taking, you know, these vertexes and moving them forward like that. We're not going to do it that way, because then that just looks like crap. Instead, I'm actually going to show you how to uh, create panels behind it and basically make part of the car frame. So this way it's, it's more, uh, I guess, appealing. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. As I don't know how long this tutorial's already lasted. But, um... Let's see... Let's go ahead and do the exhaust real quick, and the next tutorial is when we'll start ma making the wheels. I like to keep those as separate tutorials, but uh, let's go ahead and just do the exhaust real quick. The exhaust is going to be very easy. We're just going to select this, and we're going to rotate it, you know, about 90 degrees. If you want to do exactly 90, you're more than welcome to. I'm not. So I'm just going to move that. I probably need to scale that down just a little bit more. And I'm going to go into here. I'm going to make the subdivision axes 10. Then in vertex, I'm going to start moving all these forward. Yeah. I think I'm going to pull that one forward as well. Move this one right about here. Something like that. I'm just going to pull these back. I'm going to go into face. Then I have just these back ones select. I'm going to go into extrude. I'm just going to extrude that down. I'm going to press G on the keyboard, go down, G on the keyboard, move that down, G on the keyboard, move that back. I'm just going to have this come back here. There we go. So then the next thing we need to do is click on just this face, and we're going to press G on the keyboard. We're going to scale in just a little bit. We're going to press G on the keyboard again. We're going to come in here. We're going to press G on the keyboard again. We're going to scale in and come right about here. Uh, let's go ahead and make this flat. Then we'll press G on the keyboard one more time. Have that come right about here. Something like that. So now for the exhaust, this is what we have. And if you want to, you know, make that go even further in, you can. That's totally optional. Let me uh, frame in on the exhaust. Now if you press through on the keyboard, you're going to see that you get this shape. This is obviously not what we have, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a few edge loops. Uh, something like this, and so this will actually hold its shape. Uh, you can actually add one on here if you want. That's totally optional. I'm not going to because I don't want to. Uh, I'm going to add an edge loop right about here, so that's where we have more of a bend in there. Then I'm going to add one more right here. So uh, I'll probably end up changing that up later on. Right now, this is just kind of what I'm looking for, so I'm actually happy with that. I'm just not happy with its placement. I'm actually going to move it over to about here. If you want dual exhaust, just simply, oops. If you want dual exhaust, hold down Control G and Control D. You get dual exhaust. That simple. Uh, some vehicles actually have it where this part right here will come up. If you're going to do that, just simply grab this and deselect those faces. You're just going to want these bottom faces. You're just going to pull them up right here, and then you'll move this more into position like that. So when you hit 3, you'll have something more like this. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that on both sides. I'm just going to pull this up about like that. I'm going to go ahead and move this one over into position. I'm actually going to move these up just a little bit where they're just barely touching. Or not touching, but where they have just a small little gap. 
So, something like that. Next thing I want to do is go into Vertex. I'm actually going to select both of these, and I'm just going to scale them in. There we go. Now, if you don't like the... Uh, let me just select both of these and press 1. If you don't like the... Uh, I'm not doing very good here. Let me go and just... Okay. So, if you don't like how this is, like, just there, uh, you can always come in here. Let me make sure I got both of them selected, and I do. Awesome. So, you can always come in here. I'm going to press G on the keyboard to extrude. Oops. Okay, let me go ahead and reselect these faces. So with these selected, I need to pull them in first. About right there. And I'm going to press extrude on them. And I'm going to pull them back. And I'm just going to pull them in right about there. So this way, even if you're looking in there, like trying to zoom in as much as you can without actually going into the exhaust, you're not going to see anything. You're just not. So that's how you do that pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, we have a little bit of cutting through on here. So what we'll do is we'll just select this and we'll just pull it back right about here. We go and frame in on those. Just pull it in like that. So this way it's all the way in. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Frame in on that. So we're going to pull it right here and we're just going to move it right here. So now uh, when we look into the exhaust, like you can zoom in and try to look in there, which if this was a video game, you wouldn't be able to do this, obviously, because we're actually cutting through some of the faces, but you can't see anything, and it still looks legit. And then also when you come in here and you, like whenever you get ready to smooth it out, as you can see, even that looks good. You cannot see anything. It just looks smooth all the way in. So... Uh, if you want to create a more extravagant exhaust, which we'll probably end up doing that later on in the tutorial series, but um, yeah, that's basically how you do that. So, easy. Uh, next lesson, we'll start working on the wheels and everything, then we'll go into the inner fenders and some of the frame stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll cover all that as well. So, until next time, YouTube, actually, let me minimize this so you can continue looking at the beautiful car while I am talking. Let me press 3. Control S. So, as I always like to finish my videos with, or if I can remember to finish them with, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, like it, comment on what part you liked about it. Uh, if you did not like this video, please click, click the dislike button. Do not subscribe. Tell me how much you hate my guts. All comments are always appreciated. They help me sleep at night. Even the really bad ones, the ones that just give people nightmares, they seem to put a smile on my face for whatever reason. So anyways, YouTube, yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial series, uh, or not tutorial series, I'm sorry, for this tutorial video, this tutorial episode. Uh, so anyways, I uh, hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all next lesson.